Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. I have a huge package, a huge package. I've got a new toy. I was, I've been looking for a guillotine, 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 however the French people pronounce it. <clears throat> You might ask yourself, well, I know you're not asking yourself, but you might ask, why are you buying a guillotine? Why are you interested in buying a guillotine? The reason is hell. As you guys know, I take anything, almost anything I get, slice it and put it on discs. So I figured I'd get my own slicer. Slicer? No slicing. No. In this case, the slicer is slicing. This is a six-month undated academic planner. And I am testing out this planner before I go ahead and buy a full-on academic planner. This is the old style, so it doesn't have all the accoutrements of the new and improved academic planner. So I'm testing this out, see if I can stand it for the next six months or so. Good thing it's six months. Oh, let's do a quick flip through before I proceed with the slicing. You have your undated months and it starts right in the month, goes into the week. No, it should go into project if I recall. Let's see, front, month, projects and exams, and then the weeks. There are no tabs on this one. So it goes all the way for six months. So we counted the first one. That's the second month. And you can see that the colors are changing at the top. That's the third month. This is the fourth month. This is the fifth month. And the purple should be the sixth month. And then you're rewarded with a bunch of notes. And then there's one page of stickers. So that's cool. Initially, I tried just bending it over and hoping I could just lift the page out. That is not working so far. I noticed that these notes pages are actually perforated. Can you guys see that? Yes. They are perforated. But... I saw this guillotine, 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 on Jen McIntosh's channel, and she used it to slice something, I forget what. This, and I, I read the reviews online, and it looks like it's a very good machine to have. I love that it has these rulers here, and you and I are going to figure this out. Because the box did not contain any manuals. So, hopefully it's simple enough. You appear to raise the raisy thingy right here. Put down the raisy thingy. Run over the round, cutty, slicey thingy. And you should be good. I'm told that it can cut up to 12 uh, pieces of paper. So, how about we put the whole book through and see how much is actually sliced. I'm going to turn around and watch. So, hmm. Let us first of all use something that's not It's not as important as this planner. Let's use a piece of paper. So I'm going to try putting it on all the way to the end. We're using this edge as a guide. And then, oh, okay, so we do that. Okay, so it slices right at the edge of this metal guard, which is good. And then it lifts. 
the good thing is it has some resistance. You can, you hear that? So you sort of lock it in and to lift it, you do the same thing in the opposite direction. So let's see how many pages cut from this and I'm trying to slice as close to the edge as possible. Okay, let's ensure that we are straight on both sides. Let's see if and how this works. Ooh. Whoops. Okay. Did anything slice? Try one more time. Let's try one more time. Okay. Uno mas. One, two, three, proceed. The answer to your question, Nikonia, is no. Will it slice? I need to start asking myself that question on a bunch of things. Will it slice? How about we do it this way? Hmm. If we do it that way, it'll cut on that side. If we do it this way, it'll cut on this side. So let's attempt to cut. all cut it is all cut sliced it's not as neat as it could have been but I can easily fix this with some scissors scissors as I am currently trying to 
Eh, close enough. This is going to go on discs here. Uh, I mean, it may not look very work um, work appropriate, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm very, very happy with the results of the cut. Uh oh. Looks like my punch may have to be adjusted. Or maybe not. Okay. Make sure that you are properly centered before you punch. And we shall proceed. to assemble this is the vellum page that was on my planner from last year last year 2018-2019 which is just about to end Ooh, I'm excited are you guys excited new planner starts Monday Monday and I typically do not decorate my work planner so this one will not be decorated. I'll just write in the dates. Lucky for me, this is very easy to change to a Sunday start. I mean a Monday start from a Sunday start. So that's what I'm going to do. Change it to a Monday start. When I was punching these, I tried to keep the number of sheets to three or four because anything more than that would have overloaded the punch. I think I kept the pages fairly uniform, but we'll see. Not that it's that big of a deal. The most important thing is that the pages are punched. Now this paper is not exactly like the Life Planner paper. First of all, it's a little brighter white but it's not as bright white as the Happy Planners. It's still off-white, but it's not as creamy as the current Life Planners. So just in case anyone is wondering, it's the same size as the Life Planners and the Academic Planners. It's the same 7 by 9 so there's no difference there. The only difference was that this particular one on Amazon hmm, some strange thing happening. This particular one on Amazon is undated. The ones that were selling on the site previously, oh no, those were undated as well. They were undated, but they were coiled. This one was bound like the old journals, which are now discontinued, which for me is what made it easier to punch because I don't have to uncoil and I'm not dealing with reduced 
structural integrity of the pages here at the spine. So that's that, folks. If anyone has any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited to begin this planner next week. Look at all the notes pages at the back. I could even put, and that's, you know, the beauty of the disc bound system. Ooh, I could put one sheet of notes in between each week and that way I have my overflow for the week, my overflow of notes. And I think that will actually be the best way for me to use it. It'll be easy. Ah, there. So this is a pretty skinny book, but it's fine. I have a folder right here from the old planner. I have nameplate covers and then right into the months and that's that thanks everyone for watching if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe I make videos on planning life in the in these United States Woohoo! a little bit of comedy and stuff on immigration and completing immigration forms if you would like to purchase an Erin Condren and you have not purchased one prior to now, please consider using my link. It's down below in the description box. And if you click on the link and open an account, you would get $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase. It's of no, it takes nothing away from you, but it helps me bring you guys more easy content. Yes, let's buy all the things. No, let's not buy all the things. Let's just buy some of the things. Okay. That's that, everyone. Thanks for watching.